Okay, welcome to my video. So, uh, today I'm gonna show you how to uh, install MX Linux on your computer. So, right now I have Windows 7 installation on my computer. So, uh, the first thing that you have to do is you have to need a one USB drive. Uh, it could be about 7 gigs or more. Uh, more is better, but you don't really need more than that. Uh, seven, eight. I mean, it, it shouldn't be two gigs though. It, it shouldn't be that low. And seven gigs is enough. So, uh, the first thing that you have to do is install the MX Linux installation media. So, let me show you where you can find it. So, I'm using Brave. You can use which browser do you like. So, I'm just gonna write MX uh, Linux. There we go. And the first link should probably uh, be the official link. So there we go. This is the official website. So uh, there are two uh, releases that is really important that you should uh, be aware of. Uh, there is uh, one called Enhance or A H T. That is uh, the one that has more hardware support. Uh, out of the box so you should keep that in mind right now it's not released yet for this newer version so uh, I'm just going to use the KD version with a little bit more flashy effects so yeah download this when you click it uh, it will show you how to download it there you go I already did it so I'm just gonna close it and the second thing that you need is a USB media creation tool so I'm gonna use Wintoy in this one, so write Wintoy. There you go. And click on the first thing as usual. And go to downloads. So since I'm using Windows on this, I'm just gonna click on the Windows link. In here, you just have to look at the newest release. This is the last one, so scroll down a little. And you would see a Windows installation zip. It's not installation, you just have to run it. So let's download that. Now I'm going to save it to my desktop. There we go. As you can see, it's showed up here. So double click on this and click on extract files. And Extract it real quick. There we go. There it is. So you can close this one. I open it in uh, So now let's open this up. Here is a tool. So what you got to do in this tool is you have to plug in your USB drive. As you can see, I plugged it in already. Is a Kingston <laughs> Traveler. It's a 32 gig drive, but as I told you, uh, you could be just fine with uh, a 7 gig drive. So yeah, keep that in mind. So this is a really important part that you have to be. Uh, you have to keep this in mind. And um, in the option sections, uh, you would see like secure boot and partition style. So. Um, I recommend you to use uh, GPT partitioning if you're using uh, a UEFI uh, system. Now, uh, I'm not really going to go to the details of this. If you're using something that's new, like a really new computer, is a five years old or six years old, yeah, I'm saying that's new because mine is really like a potato right now. So, uh, if it's newer than that, you're probably using uh, UFI. So use the GPT partitioning table on this one. So uh, after you're doing that, you just have to click on install. So if you might not have noticed this, but I already have a Wintoy installation installed in my USB drive. So I'm just going to click on update instead of uh, install on this one. But you have to click on install if you didn't do this before this whole process. So, yeah. 
There we go, it's finished up. After it's finished up, uh, you just have to go into your Wintoy drive, we'll just say Wintoy. So mine has a lot of things in it, so uh, a bunch of stuff. Uh, because I did constantly change some distributions, blah blah blah, I do all that stuff. Uh, and I already put the KD full uh, ISO in here. Uh, if you're, uh, it's gonna be completely empty. So what you're gonna do is, uh, this ISO that you downloaded, it should be probably in your downloads folder somewhere. You have to grab your full uh, ISO file without doing anything else. Just hold it and drag and drop in here, and that's all you got to do. After that, uh, your ISO would be right in there, and that's all you got to do for now. Uh, after this, uh, uh, I'll get into this later on, so let me pause it in here. And I'm back. Well, let me close that up. So, now what you're gonna do is click on your start menu and just restart your computer. Don't you remember a USB drive by the way? And uh, right now you have to click on some key combinations. Uh, mine is F8 to open the bootloader. Uh, yours might be different. Just click on those F keys until you find one. So it already tells it me on the BIOS right now. It just says F8. So I selected that. So this menu should be popping out to you as well so I'm just gonna select my USB drive here in Wintoy you probably going to have a one single ISO uh, and it should be this one uh, and just click enter in this one I have to select it since I have a bunch of them so yeah and after that your MX installation will boot so I will get back into it after it's booted up and if your system is booted correctly now, you would see this little uh, MX Linux Tor app. Is it? I mean, there is a separate Tor app actually. This is the welcome screen, as it states. Uh, now we're not going to touch anything else than the install MX Linux button right now. So I'm just going to click on install MX Linux button. Let's wait. I'll actually. Okay, here it is. Installer showed up. Now, when you click here, you can change your keyboard la uh, layout if you like. I'm not going to do any of that, so I'm just going to click next. So, uh, you could just do a straight up uh, erase disk and completely leave the MX to the system. Now, uh, because I have other uh, installations and in, uh, my other disks, I, and I don't want them to get removed or uh, didn't want uh, things that could happen to them uh, without me knowing it because I don't know what this automatic installation method does at least not completely sure about what it does it to my system I'm not going to use this method but if you're going to use, uh, wipe out all of your system and uh, install it completely just the MX Linux installation media uh, you can do this there won't be any problems with it and you can, I do recommend you just uh, consider this as well. So if you're a person that have a lot of photos in a computer, but not that much com uh, computer data, not a data, but uh, not that much personal uh, uh, programs in your system, you can just set like this slider to only put your programs into a separate partition and put your home files, I mean your personal files, your photos and stuff like that, into a separate folder. You can set that as well. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to use a custom layout. You can use this. It's really easier. But since I have multiple partitions, as you can see, I'm going to do a little bit more advanced. So you can just click next on this one. I'm just going to show you how. Uh, you can set it as an MBR partition. If you didn't know that, it doesn't matter that much. You just uh, if you really want to do this method, you can follow along with me. It, it 
does work really well uh, after you set it up correctly so don't worry so I opened the, this little button here and it just opens this KD partition manager so let's wait for it to scan all my disks I do have a lot of disks uh, some of them I shouldn't be plugging in right now they shouldn't be plugged in but I didn't remove them I didn't bother doing that yeah uh, yeah it's gonna take a little while Come on and there we go now this is uh, my other MX Linux installation the, pro, uh, the location that I'm gonna install is here Kingstone Drive so uh, I'm just gonna delete these ones completely just so that I can start from scratch and just activate swap Delete these. There we go. Now, I'm going to use MBR or MS DOS, which stands for MBR, I guess, and works that way. So, you can use a different one. That's why I'm just showing you, I'm telling you to use the other one if you're just going to do a clean install. And I will also uh, tell you the, how you can do it with, with Windows in the same disk in the later videos. Right now I'm just gonna make a clean install. So. In a little bit more detailed way though. As you can see. So I'm just gonna set it up to ext4 and resize. This is completely optional uh, but if you're gonna hibernate your system and uh, if you don't know what hibernate is it's... Mm, how can I tell you this? It's means that your system could be in this state for example like I open this program I would open Firefox and all that stuff and when I click on hibernate all of the program state would be saved so even if I unplugged my PC and stuff like that with no electricity or anything when I click on the power button when I boot back into my system uh, everything would be in the same exact position as it was so I would show you how to enable the hibernation as well so there you go Linux swap set that up uh, but if you can completely skip that uh, so pending operations click apply just wait for it oh by the way don't forget to click apply if you didn't click apply all of these configurations wouldn't be saved and keep that in mind and so partitioning it this partitioning process might take a little while, but the installation is going to be quick in mine since I'm going to use uh, uh, oh, it's successfully finished. I'm using an SSD, so it won't be a problem that much when it comes to installing the system. So I don't think it needs to scan it now, so I can right click and close it. On there. Oh, okay, it doesn't let me close it. It has to scan after. Come on. It shouldn't take this long. If you have not this much as I have over here, a bunch of drives yours wouldn't take this long I did do a big 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 mistake by not removing all the drives whatever mine's set up right now so let's close that now we're just gonna tell uh, the MX installation to where to install the system so since mine is where it's, it's a hundred gig drive so I can tell which one it is and there it is this is the one make sure it's the one that you wanted to and when you go mouse over it will tell you which one it is so it says Kingston so I'm gonna click here and I'm gonna use this as root and this is where you're gonna put the system in here so be aware of that and this is gonna be the swap partition so I'm just gonna call it the swap and you can name it wherever you want so 
root mx21. You can put any name tag in. You can, if, you, if you like, you can leave it blank as well. So I set up all the things here. So let's click next. And it makes us install and perform actions. So I can show the details. It will set the root. That's all I wanted, anyways. In here, uh, keep in mind select your uh, system drives. If you don't have a specific reason to select another drive, please select the one that you have. So don't click next. You have to really, really know what you're doing here. Okay. Don't just remount to some of them. Okay, there we go. Next, you can set your computer name, what you like to. Eh, I'm just going to leave it MX, since it doesn't really matter how much. You can change it later on as well. So this format looks better. It doesn't matter, you can set it up later anyways. Uh, so I'm just going to click on the services. You don't really have to do this as well. But uh, keep in mind that if you're not going to use something like Bluetooth, for example, you can uncheck this. Since my hardware doesn't have any Bluetooth support, I'm not going to use the service, I'm just going to disable it. This uh, makes the service still gets installed, by the way, don't uh, get me wrong. This still installs the service, it just only uh, doesn't let you, it uh, doesn't uh, boots in the system where well, it boots, so that's what it does. So I'm just going to call me Tim, and uh, what should I, I don't know. Super complicated password. Now you can skip the root and administer password. I'm just gonna put it admin password at all. Uh, I do recommend it because there might be some use cases for root to have a password. So I'm recommending you to put something. And also it should be secure like mine. So yeah, let's continue. And you can now. I don't know, take a little coffee break or something. Or you can just click on this live vlog so that you can see what's happening on this setup. It wouldn't take this long. It's fine. It already tells it in the help section. It's 3 to 20 minutes. And this is completely accurate. It, I installed this MX uh, operating system to my, a lot of systems. And a lot of times to my exact same system actually <laughs> uh, sounds different and it's wrong <laughs> yeah I installed this into this hardware a couple of times and it really took uh, right in about 15 minutes or so 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 yeah <laughs> whatever uh, so it's true it's not a lie now you can take a little coffee break while it's happening And as you can see, it's finished now. So you don't really have to do uh, anything else than clicking finish. And after that uh, has been done, your computer will restart. Oh, and by the way, you could uh, unplug your USB drive while it's rebooting. Just uh, wait until it finishes up uh, rebooting. All the texts are disappeared. Uh, and then you can just remove your USB drive and you're all set. So thanks for watching my video. I hope you uh, we can meet later on. Bye. In another video, by the way. Nothing else.